Your doctor has recommended that you undergo laser in situ keratomalusis or LASIK laser surgery to correct a vision problem. But what does that actually mean? The human eye is constructed like a camera with a clear lens in the front and light sensitive tissue at the rear. This tissue makes up the retina which acts like a photographic film. In an eye that has perfect vision light rays passing through the pupil are focused by the lens to fall precisely at the center of the retina. There are many common problems that can affect the eye and prevent light rays from focusing properly on the retina. Three of these problems, myopia or nearsightedness, hyperopia or farsightedness, and astigmatism can often be corrected or reduced with the use of LASIK laser surgery. Myopia, or nearsightedness, occurs when the shape of the eye is too long or the curve of the cornea is too extreme. In this case, light rays are focused on a point in front of the retina instead of on the retina itself. Hyperopia, or farsightedness, occurs when the shape of the eye is too short. In this case, light rays are focused on a point behind the retina. Astigmatism occurs when the cornea is unevenly curved, causing light rays to fall off-center or not to focus properly at all. In either case, LASIK laser surgery can be used to flatten all or part of the cornea. Allowing your doctor to cause the focal point of light entering the eye to fall more closely to the center of the surface of the retina. LASIK laser surgery is a relatively simple and non-intrusive procedure that is designed to reduce or eliminate the need for glasses or contact lenses. LASIK laser surgery generally does not have any effect on the patient's overall health and there are no risks in choosing not to have the surgery. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table and you'll be given an anesthetic in the form of eye drops and a suction ring will be placed on the eye to prevent movement and to maintain pressure within the eye. When the operative field is numb, the doctor will use an automated microsurgical instrument called a microkeratome. This tiny instrument will carefully create a thin corneal flap which remains hinged to the eye. Underneath this flap, the inner layer of the cornea, called the stroma, is exposed. Next, your doctor will use a computer to control pulses of cool laser light. These pulses will delicately remove microscopically thin layers of cells from the stroma. By removing tissue in this manner, your doctor will tailor the new shape of your cornea according to the exact nature of your vision problem. The entire procedure usually takes about five minutes and is painless. The corneal flap is then closed and the surface is rinsed. Following the surgery, you'll be given protective contact lenses to wear for a few days while the corneal flap heals 